I feel under your leadership, Namibia, uh, the government and people have successfully met the challenge, uh, not only COVID, but also drought, locust, and uh, the ongoing war in Ukraine, which has resulted in rising fuel prices and food prices. Uh, over the past uh, few years, uh, the United Nations has worked closely with the government of uh, Namibia under your leadership. I think we have achieved uh, great success in the uh, realization of uh, the sustainable development goals. Uh, right now, we are in the process of assessing the progress we have made over the past five years and we will soon start the preparation of a next uh, development framework uh, with the government. Uh, I think uh, the UN development framework is uh, entirely aligned to the National Development Plan, NDF5, and also the Harambe Prosperity Plan, uh, ATPP2. Uh, we have been uh, trying our best to uh, work with the government to build a resilient economy and society to raise the living standards of the Namibian people. Uh, we have uh, funded many projects. At independence, we said we're not going to get the instruments of power from illegal occupying uh, regime of white South Africa. We are going to get it from the United Nations. So we are the first country who got at independence the instruments of power from the United Nations Secretary General. So that's how long our relationship has been. And I'm glad that you have really elaborated on it very effectively. It shows that you have been around, you have definitely worked in many countries, and here you got cooperation, and for what you are saying, I'm very much impressed. We have a long way to go. Uh, poverty, long way to go, it comes to housing, youth unemployment. Uh, what was our success story? is not becoming a problem. For instance, when we came back, we thought, after independence, that education must be free at primary level. Education is the key, unlocking all the doors, so we're focusing on education. That success of having every child in school, now graduating, that now becomes a problem, because we don't have jobs for graduates. Now, graduating students, of course, Depends on how we match the skills of the labor market, the job market, which is a mismatch at the moment. That's why a person can have a degree but unemployed. So really, what we have outlined here, what we have been doing, what you will be doing, and also to come back as a private citizen, shows that you really enjoy staying here, as we are saying.